we got one All right, my name is Lawrence Ray, also known as LRW3, and this is the Rose Garden. Today I got my man with me. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? What's going on? It's the Poster Boy checking in, man. Appreciate you letting me slide through. Appreciate you, man. Before we even get started, man, let people know who you are. Just Remy the person. All right. So my name is Remy. From Alfreda, Georgia. We call it 400 North. It's the north side of Atlanta. Uh, I make music. Play ball at Georgia State, so we just transition the work from the ball to the music. That's what we on. So you play ball at Georgia State. What position you play? Second. It's cold. So it just depends on who you have. But I mean, I did my thing. Nah, not like I'm leaving you low. Why you, you ever uh, you ever thought about going to the league? Why you why you pursue that? Uh, I had opportunities like my senior. Year, I had told my I had told my knee my senior year. Uh, so with like four games left, mm. uh, I was doing my thing. I wasn't like on path to get drafted or nothing like that, but. Like, I definitely would have got invited to a camp and then it would have been on me to yeah, so make like it shake. So, but I mean, when I tore my knee, it was just kind of like a decision I had to make to try and, you know, fight that uphill battle to make it back in there or do something else I love and I just chose to fuck with the music. Man, it's working for you. It's working for you. So when did you start making music? Like, for real, making music, going to the studio, like a year and a half ago. But like I've been writing all my life, like tapping into the culture, like doing my diligence like studying just really paying attention like my whole life my pops made music my granddad made music so i've been around my whole life i like that so you've been writing your whole life what what really made you start taking it seriously what made you finally go to the studio well i had plans like to go to the league like we said and then like try and hit the wood hoop on both angles you know what i'm saying like use the platform football gave me to go to the studio and then it was just like made sense on that way but when i got hurt it was just like shit what you finna do and that's what made me go to honestly like I, I was like, got nothing else to do. Yeah, so, so I gotta shake, so I gotta shake. So is your first song you ever recorded? Was that about a year ago or when? First song I ever recorded was December 2019. Oh that's going crazy then because you basically still brand new be going this crazy. Exactly. So talk to me about that first song. I mean most people's songs are a little bit older, but yours, uh, what's the name of your first song and can, is it still out to be heard? So first song I ever put out. It's called Inner Me. I put that out April 2020. Mm -hmm. The first song I ever recorded in 2019, I ain't put it out yet, but I'm still gonna use it. But it's just like this one of them where like it gotta have a proper proper presentation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gotta, yeah, yeah. I'm wait, I'm waiting to put it out. But it's called uh slide through. Slide through. So we all gonna be able to hear it sooner or later, right? Yeah, it's gonna be on Post Boy too. That's why I'm that's why I'm finna start working on Post Boy too. Yeah. Alright, alright. So four hundred north, man. Uh what is that and how does it influence your music? Surface level, 400 north is like where I'm from. That's really what it's called. Like, you just drive on 400 and go north. So, that's what we call it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, on a deeper understanding of it, like, it's just like the movement, the brand, of like what we represent. It's like being able to, no matter where you go, what environment, being able to stand out. But at the same time, being able to get along. Like, I feel like I can go anywhere in the world and they're going to they gonna treat me. And I'm gonna treat them as if that's my brother or my sister, or he might be family, but at the same time, I stand out like people notice. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just been like that way my whole life. And everybody that I rock with from the crib is just like that for some reason. We're like a big melting pot. Anybody from there is not born there for real. Like, if you really pay attention to people from Alpharetta, none of us are born there, but we just landed there for some reason. Are you from there or maybe were you born there? Or I was born in Tampa, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I was born in Tampa, Florida. Florida Tampa. So, yeah. what's the staple of 400 North? What would you say the state is? Um, so right now it's going through like a big development stage. So like the state was have probably changed. But as far as people who grew up there, when I grew up there, mm -hmm. we had the movie theater, of course. Like every, every spot got the movie theater that you take the shorties to. You know what I'm saying? On, on the little middle school, high school, date night type vibe. And then right now the Avalon, Avalon popping. Like people who not even from Alpharetta know what the Avalon is. I'm trying to think. One, it's one more. The cooler. The cooler, like if you talk to somebody really from Alpharetta, like around our age, they gonna know what the cooler is. It's, it's a skating rink Monday through Friday. You know, it's a regular ice skating rink, but Friday through Sunday, Friday night through Sunday is where they let us throw parties and like okay. have gatherings. So that's where like the, the first parties in Alpharetta was starting to cool. Okay, I like that. I like that. So man, you got a dope style. Like I said, um, 
I think some of your music's been on the rap sheet that we do as well. Mm -hmm. So I've heard a few of your songs, yeah, man. Appreciate that too. You dope, yeah, dope style, that. man. You know I like it. I rock with you, man. Um, so if somebody, let's say somebody had time to hear three, three of your songs for whatever reason, they only had time to hear three songs. What's three songs they would need to hear from you? Oh, uh, Friday in Atlanta. I heard that one. That one crazy, man. You got the vibe. I, I be listening to that too, in the car to yeah. this day, man. Appreciate that. You got the vibe. Um, that's that's a hard question because I, I you got some you got some. I don't put nothing that I don't like, so like it's hard. But Friday Night Lights for sure. I'll say. Mm, I like to talk to the shorties a lot too, so maybe yeah. like a song called Late Night Cruise or Hair Tie. Yeah, I heard Hair Tie too. Yeah, that's for the vibes. And then I like to rap too, though. Like I really like to talk, so I'll say it's a song called Blood in the Water. Um, my two projects to go called Million Dollar Mindset where I'm just like kind of painting a picture of where we from, mm -hmm. what we finna do and what we doing now. So Blood and Water, I'll tell them check that out too. Gotcha, gotcha. I think I said it before, like I said, I heard your stuff on the rap. I was like, you give me Bryson Tiller at his peak vibes. That's hard. Like, yeah, I really like that. And I said that with respect, of course. That, yeah. yeah, like no, the, sure. the style That's you came problem. in, like, yeah. at, you know, at, at his peak, he couldn't miss. Right. Like, that's what I heard, like, before PM. Like, so I need to hear some more of your stuff. But the right. ones I've heard, give me that, that Bryson Tiller vibe. I like that. And I know, yeah. I noticed you said you talk to your ladies a lot in the song. The ones I heard, you do talk to the ladies a lot. What, is your music mainly geared to the ladies? Is that what you like to focus on? Or is that just kind of the songs you've already put out? It's just... It's just how they kind of came out. It's just like anytime I'm making something, it's a story that has happened or it's happening in that moment, and like we just like not even on no like mm -hmm. bigging up myself. We just really be with a lot of girls, like yeah. like not even on the tip of trying to get with them. Like we just be vibing out. Just like, with, be with a lot of girls all the time. So it's just like if I'm in there making some music and the producer play a beat, I pay attention to. Something that can make everybody head, you know what I'm saying, make everybody head vibe, especially the girls. So if it's like a lot of shorties in the room and, and they vibe with the beat, then I'm gonna have on it, and then that's just naturally what's gonna come from that. I'm gonna put you on the spot somewhat. On uh, uh, some of these songs with the ladies, because like you said, you pulling from your experiences. Are you talking for, are you talking to any female in particular, or it's just all generalized? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of them is particular. Hair ties is particular. Uh, I ain't gonna make you say no names, I, but I, uh, gonna uh, that, uh, I wanna know yeah. I wanna that <laughs> thing I'll put you on the spotlight there. That ain't anyway, playing. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's 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 a few of them that's 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 particular than a couple and it's just like five out. Now let me ask you this. Like I said, we ain't saying no names. Is the person whoever is the reason you wrote it, would they hear the song and know what's about them? Mm. Hair tie no. Some yeah. Alright. A, a few of them, yeah. So hey. Whoever, whoever be dealing with him, listen to these songs, man. He might be talking about you a little bit. So I know you said you got a couple of projects out. You want to like, you want to walk us through as far as from the beginning, first project, now to like, I know you said you got one you're about to be working on soon. Kind of break down what each project brought. Yeah, so like, just the path is about learning. Like, I've been learning so much. Like you said, I've only been doing this a year and a half. So like, I'm still learning how to put a project together the proper way, but like, how I used to do it, just make hella music, place it together, and I'm thinking that's how you put an album together. That's how you start, you make a thousand songs, yeah. you throw them at the wall, whatever stick, stick, basically. But I'm learning now, like, have a theme, have, yeah. a, have, a, have, a, have a purpose of what you're creating, like, have an overall sound, you want the whole thing to sound like, so everything, you know, mesh together and has cohesion. So, from the first thing I put out, it was just two songs together, one shout out the crib, and then one on some opening up, like what I was going through. That's the first two songs I ever put out. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the first song, I mean, the first album was called Poster Boy, mm -hmm. which is like my stage name, what I go by, like if I'm out. You know, everybody got that alter ego. You know, when you when you feeling good, you pop a shit, you know, you turn into somebody else. Like Poster Boy, we were stapling that name for the first project. So that was just a collection of who I am, what I'm doing at the moment, and then like, you know, kind of just painting a picture of, of where we from. And then the last two, uh, or last three, excuse me, I dropped a project called From the North Side to Hollywood. I recorded that whole tape in LA with my boy Jordan, who back there. Uh, I recorded that whole tape in LA. It was just on some 
in hindsight, I'm not I'm not mad that I put it out. I'm just mad that I put it out in the way that I did. Like I was just so horny to be putting out music like yeah, for the first still, time. Every everybody do that when yeah. they first start. Like yo, yo I ain't tripping. Yeah. I'm not tripping on it, but like I know I probably should have waited a little bit more, showed more patience. But I was gonna say that, but I guess that kind of experience. Just, I know you said you've been doing it a year. How many projects is that in a year? A year and a half. Uh, four. Or, yeah, there's a lot of projects in the year. Yeah. Was there like the re was the reason behind that? Like, are they different sounds, or like you just said, I was just excited to keep putting out music? That's part of it, too. Still figuring out the sound because I'm not trying to like big up myself again, but it's a lot that I can do when it comes to sound. Like, I really love to rap and drop bars, but I can sing a little bit too, but yeah. I also can hit the melody. So it's like at the same time, I'm dropping so much because I'm creating so much, trying to figure out what it's gonna sound like. I see that with a lot of artists, like, that's the, and I'm, it's a blessing and a curse because y'all are so talented yeah. that you can put out a bunch of stuff and get away with it because nothing sounds the same, but at the same time, maybe it should have been spaced out because I can't even enjoy this song because right. you got a whole project I got to listen to yeah, now. I can't facts. even sit with this. Facts. So it might have been being, a, I hate to say it's a curse because ain't no curse being that talented, but right. yeah, that just come with experience, man. So this next project you got in the tub, when is that expected to come out or, or what's the plans with that? Mm, I don't have a specific date right now. My own personal project, maybe like Q4, mm. just, you know, starting, I haven't started on it as far as the actual recording process, mm -hmm. but I started on it as far as like formulating what I want to sound like or what I want the theme to be. Probably Q4, but from now to Q4, I want to put out some collaborative projects, um, you know, just from a business standpoint and just from my like creating with other people, because like I said, it's all about the sound. So if you got now mix two great sounds, it's just a win-win, you know what I'm saying? So using people I really enjoy making music with, but also using the fans and supporters they got. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll hit the collab album, they come over, by the time Q4 comes, you got a whole thousands of different ears that yeah. ain't never listened to you before. That's a fact. Now one thing I'm gonna give you credit for, I did not know what your fan base, I did not know he was only doing this a year. Yeah. What would you credit growing a fan base that quick for? And I ain't trying to tell you to give away your sauce, right. but what advice would you give somebody just starting to maybe try to follow your similar path? You got, you got them following you already. It's no matter what you do. To me, no matter what you do, it's shit about relationships. Like, That's a fact, though. Your profession, with my profession, with her profession, it's just about relationships. If, if people really like you, they're going to support whatever you do. So before I even put out a song, I had a lot of people that just fuck with me. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... Whenever I was done playing football, it didn't matter what I did. They was gonna support it just because I'm like, I like, I like to call myself a genuine, pure person. Like, I'm, I'm cool with, a lot. I'm cool with anybody until you give me a reason not to be cool with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that has something to do with it. And then of course, I sound good. That's like, a fact. That's a fact. It sound good. Crazy. So whenever they hear it, I get support that way as well. And then the work, like, even though. From a business standpoint, it's probably a better way to do it than putting out four projects in a year. Put out four projects in a year. Yeah. So like they just hearing it, they seeing the nigga work. Standing and in their face. I'm standing in their face, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like trying to kick the door down, still going crazy with it. But them three things I'd probably say was the top things, my personality and just the genuineness. People actually like me, they like Remy. The music is good and the work is for so like itself. That. I yeah. like that. And like I said, you, you, you got to follow him, man. I just seen, uh, of course, you know, tapped in with Trey. I be seeing him share some of your stuff and your yeah. shows. Your shows be going crazy, man. That's my favorite thing to do is perform. I see that, man. What would you say has been your, your favorite show to date? Because I've seen you had a couple of crazy From uh, From an appreciation standpoint, my first show, of course, of course, because it's just the way that it came together. Like, nobody called me to do that show. My best friend put that show together mm. with... Uh, um, it was a, it was like a stage and a little lounge type of area with a, with a dude we played at Georgia State with. They had like a back lounge type area that, that he was letting people use and they was, you know, renting out for vibes and hookah and all that type of stuff. My best friend put that together in like a month. I remember we were in Puerto Rico for my birthday. Uh, we flew out to Puerto Rico. He was like, he was like, bro, I rent me like. We need to use this space, like we need to use this space. I'm late, I'm late in Puerto Rico. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, whatever, like whatever, whatever. And we go back. And he, 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 he drive me to it. My boy Penny, by the way. He drive me to it. He's like, bro, do you not see this? Like, can you not see what I see? And I'm looking at the stage. I'm like, damn, like, hell yeah, let's go. So we put that show together in a month, like, 
probably three weeks we put it together, packed it out, like 300 people in that bitch. My very first show ever. So from a from a appreciation standpoint, I say the first one, but from a lit performer standpoint, I had did a frat show at uh, University of Alabama. And I seen a clip of that. Man, that motherfucker. They packed out, man. Know, how many motherfuckers out there? It was just turned like. And I be lit while I'm up there, like actually lit. So it's just a great, I'm experiencing the show while I'm giving the show at the same time. That makes sense. I like that, I like that. So if you could work with any artist, you got you got one phone call to make, they gonna take the feature regardless, who you call? Established or new? Uh, let's break it down then. We're gonna do new and established then. New, male, second hinges. What's, what's he out of? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. All right. What's a what's a song for you? Uh, I don't. Uh, she fucking on me. She know that's not it. Uh, keep it low key. Oh, okay. I know yeah, that one. I know that one. All right. That's all right. probably his main one. That's his main one. That's said it. Um, shit. A lot of up and coming niggas. I'm already working with my boy C Lee. Shout out my boy C Lee. See that was my next question. I love working with. I'm gonna cut you there. That's my next question. Yeah. Also, uh, some other local dope talent. Yeah. So uh, who who is your as far as the mainstream? Artist that you would work with, right? Drake. I, I knew he was. Everybody say Drake. I feel like anybody would say Drake. So everybody. I, let me ask, let me break this because everybody's naturally gonna say Drake. Because let me give, was, yeah, yeah. Let me give an answer that everybody won't say. Yeah. Don Don Kenny. I like that. And I like y'all styles together. Don I was about to ask, what's a better one that would not mess necessarily for the? Because Drake gonna get you what you want, but Drake gonna make anybody. Yeah. yeah. From I, a I style see what you're saying. Yeah. Don. I like that. I haven't heard from Don in a minute though, man. He just dropped. I haven't heard it. Right, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he dropping. I just haven't heard it. Yeah. But nah, Dom is fire. Y'all styles that would that would go crazy. I like that. Ross, Ross too. Sure. I like Dom better than Ross as far as a collab with y'all. Though. The sound. Yeah. yeah. I, feel, yeah. I, like, I can see that Dom. Hey Dom, I need that feature. Yeah, man. yeah facts. We need that feature. I'm just thinking about it now. That'd go crazy, yo, for real. So yeah. I know you mentioned a couple. Hold on, we can't forget the women though. It's a lot of women artists. Oh, okay. What's a what's a woman feature you would do? New. Alright, science. I have heard. I ain't heard. I heard. Or, okay. or Doja Cat. Okay, I can see that one too. Oh, oh, Badu or Shade. Can't wrong Badu. Crazy. I like both of those. I like both of those. So, who's some other local talent that? Who's some of your favorite local talent around here? Shit, Silly. That' what we doing. What we doing right now. I ain't gonna say too much. I don't know how much he want me to say, but that' what we doing. What we doing right now. That sound is that sound is is, is amazing to me. Mm-hmm. Just from the hearing standpoint, from the consumer standpoint, that sound crazy. I love working with Sealy, my boy Jehovah out of South Carolina. That's that's like fan vibes. We we've been tapped in before music even started. He doing his thing out of um, South Carolina. He just had the uh, the number one album in, in the blues category on, on the charts. That's fire. Yeah, that's, fire. So that's my boy. We got a couple songs together. He on my first post boy song. I'm post boy album. And I'm on his. Uh, Two albums ago, so I'll probably say them two for real. Gotcha, I like that. I like that. So, um, three years from now, well, so you done did all this in one year. Three years from now, where do you see yourself at? Three years from now, I'm definitely in the game. Like, that's probably, that's probably a factual statement. I'm, def- I'm definitely in the game. Uh, to what level and to what capacity? Shit, the niggas just gotta work to go get that. But I'm definitely in the game. I'm already I'm already in rooms I wasn't in a year ago, just, you know what I'm saying, doing stuff like this, you know what I'm saying, a well-respected podcast from where you're from, so once again, I appreciate you letting me do this, but just the rooms that I'm walking in right now that I wasn't walking in a year ago, I already know I'm going to be in the game. Hopefully, hmm, let me answer this the right way. Don't give me the PR answer, yeah. man. Don't give me no PR answers, man. <laughs> I don't know. We just see what where the work takes us, where where we go from there. But I'm definitely in the game. I'm definitely still doing shows. Like I said, that's my favorite thing to do. And then whatever situation come in the next three years, hopefully it's a good situation. I'm probably in that situation. Let me just say it that way. I like good answer. Good answer. So, uh, long term, at the end of your career, what would you consider to be a success? Bringing something to my city that it deserves and that nobody has ever brought. Don't nobody know about Alpharetta, but number one, it's hella money there, so why would you not want to be where the money is? And then it's people like me who grew up there but don't necessarily come from the money. Like whenever I say Alpharetta and people say, oh, you you come from money, you got money, I say thank you. Like, I'm glad that you see me that way. I'm glad that you portray me that way, but 
anybody that know me or know, like, we don't really come from a lot of money. My mom would just put us out there so we could be exposed because everything is about exposure. Like, right. if you don't see it, you don't know about it. So my mom would drop us in there so we could see it and try to go get it. So, number one, bringing something to my city that nobody has ever before. Starting 400 North, the label, having artists and it being a successful label. And then, I know I got the capabilities to be that guy, you're a star. That's a fact, man. Yeah, it's a fact. Yeah, so. <laughs> you try to be bars with me, nah, talk your nah, time, man. It's how, it. Yeah, that's how I talk. Like, I know I got the capabilities to be a star, so when it's all said and done, they're going to be a star. That's so. a fact. That's a fact. It's like my last few questions, man. Uh, one, for the people who don't know you, who's seeing this, why should they support you? That's a good question. Um, people should support me, first and foremost, because if you like good music, then I feel like you would like the sound. But deeper than the music. I feel like you should support me if you choose to because it's nothing different about me except for the way I think and the way I view things. Like basically saying if you have a dream, I feel like you should respect or support anybody that's following a dream. If they really genuine about it, really authentic about it and putting in time and putting in hard work, I feel like you should just support me because if you know me or look at me, or, or listen to me, it's all true. Like, it's nothing that I have ever said in the studio that is kept. And anybody will tell you that. Like Anything I say in the studio is true. So I feel like that way you should support me because it's shit real. I like that, good answer, good answer, man. So any producers, engineers, or artists trying to work with you, how do they get in contact with you? Tap in on socials, I'm responding to all DMs, R-E-M-Y underscore L-A-Z-A-R-U-S. That's on the gram, Twitter. TikTok, my TikTok is uh, 400 in Poster Boy. I'm still working, you know, for me getting familiar with the TikTok. You know, yeah, I still ain't on TikTok. I'm sweating myself. Real. You tripping? I'm tri I know I'm tripping. I'm tripping too, but you tripping for now you being I know I'm tripping bad. I'm still trying to work my move with the TikTok, figure out my lane in there because I ain't that ain't really. But as a businessman, yeah. which I am before anything. TikTok is, is that deal. Okay. That's a fact. That's a fact. So that wrapped up my questions I had. I got an open floor course for anything I didn't ask you directly that you want to stay, anything you want people to know, any yeah. announcements you want to get out. This this your moment to say what you need to say. Yeah, let me think for a quick second so I can make sure I say the right thing. If it's anything that could be said, that was a fire ass interview. I First of all, some good ass questions. I do what I um, do, man. Anybody who's saying this that want to tap in? Follow me on the gram, like I said. Follow me on Twitter, R-E-M-Y underscore L-A-Z-A-R-U-S. A lot of visuals coming this year. I really want to take the time to uh, put a lot of effort into visuals. I feel mm -hmm. like that's another lane that you can. Do you have a lot of uh, visuals out already? Yeah, I got like four or five. How many videos we got right now? Five, six. Like five, six videos. I'm gonna put, it, is it like your personal videographer or something? Yeah, and my boy Jordan. Oh, okay, yeah. that's what's up. Shout out Jordan, man. Shot, anything you see on my gram from the Simplest picture, a nigga not even doing nothing to the most polished video <laughs> that nigga shot that shit. He shot it. And uh, uh, him, big man. up Jordan, yeah, big up my boy Jew. You already know what it is when it comes to me and you. But yeah, uh, a lot of visuals. I'm trying to put a lot of energy to visuals this year while I work on the collaborative albums, like I said. But I'm focused on that collab album, like I said, uh, with my boy Silly, because that shit, that shit gonna go stupid. I already know, I already know y'all two guys gonna go crazy, man. So, of course, we just sat here, made sure you know you was appreciated, gave you well-deserved recognition, man. You know, every rose card in Endo, I need you to tell somebody. You don't gotta know them personally, you can see them working and passing. Just acknowledge what they doing, man, since we gave you your flowers. I need you to end this by giving somebody else their flowers. I'll start off by giving them to you. I'm gonna give another one too, but I'll start off by giving them to you. Love. Doing Appreciate what your that. thing. My DJ, DJ Solo Baby. Been tapping in with him, been showing me what he been doing, where they from, same similar situation. You trying to bring light to where you from. I'm trying to be like where I'm from. So I give your flowers for that. I just respect that on a on a on a deeper level that most probably wouldn't understand. And then somebody I'll shout out or just give their flowers to. Mm, it's so many I could. I'll give my flowers to my boy Penny, uh, my boy been staying down, he played for the Seahawks, he been staying down doing his thing, and this year he really he, made, he really made a role for himself on the team, like as far as a productive a productive role on the team, and as far as making himself known, and then he always just pushing me to be great, he always, you know what I'm saying, it, it's a few people that I think I'm like-minded with in the world, but my boy Penny is one of them people, so get my flowers to, to my nigga Penny, he already know what it is. 
That's love. Salute to him, especially when he's good. Wasn't a good year for the Seahawks, bro. It was a good year for him, though, right? Shit, it's always a great year for him as long as he's getting that check on That's a fact. Days. That's okay. a fact. Shout out him, man. Hopefully he stay in the league, keep doing great things. For sure. Other than that, man, anything else you got to say before we close this out? Mm-hmm. Show love if you fuck with the interview. If you like, do I answer the questions? You know, follow me. I'm going to tap in with y'all. Tap in. Show love just like you show love to me. That's a fact, man. So we're going to be looking forward to that next project. Till then, man, my name is Lawrence Ray. This was the Rose Guard.